Hi again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So in this video, I wanna show you how I'm assembling a $20 market bouquet. Now I'm actually making two today. This is for a client that has a weekly pickup of two $20 bouquets every single Friday. I don't currently offer any type of uh, bouquet subscription or CSA. I actually have that in the plans for next year, starting in the spring with my tulips and probably some daffodils and ranunculus. Um, but currently I just sell my bouquets at our local farmer's market. I do a every other week delivery to a bakery while she sells my bouquets. And then I also have one florist that I supply with uh, certain things she needs on a weekly basis. But anyway, um, I was putting these bouquets together this morning quickly and I thought this might be a good simple video to shoot for you guys. So the supplies that I need to put together these bouquets besides my flowers, of course, are the paper that I'm going to be wrapping it in. I used craft paper. Now this is an 18 by 18 inch square that I fold in half and I offset the corners just a little bit. I buy a roll of 18 inch uh, craft paper from Uline and I will link that down below and then I cut it myself to size. I also put a two inch square sticker on the wrap. I tie the bottom of the bouquet with rubber bands and then I staple it in a couple places and I will show you that when I'm wrapping it also. Then I also have my Felco pruners where I trim the bottom of the bouquet before I wrap it. So the flowers that I am using in this bouquet, I have a couple fillers. I have some Bupleurum and I have some Cress. So those are gonna be my textural fillers. And for this particular client, because she does a weekly pickup for me, I tend to amp up her bouquet just a little bit, giving her a couple extra flowers every week because she's such a good customer. Um, I do have a couple dahlias I'm going to be putting in the bouquets, and these bouquets will be identical, um, so one of these will go in each bouquet. This, I believe, is the Arabian Night variety. Each bouquet is getting two of these Pro Cut Orange Sunflowers. They'll each get one of these Selway White Celosia. I'll put a Potomac Lavender Snapdragon in each one. And then just a variety of zinnias. These are all the Benary's Giant variety. Um, this is the gold. And then this might be the wine. I'm not sure. Um, I have the lime and then a couple other purples. I'm not sure if these are like the deep purple. This might be the lilac. Uh, but anyway, a variety of Benary's Giant zinnias. So... First, I'm going to start with the filler, um, Bupleurum. I like to put that at the back because it just sprays out so well, and then I can layer the flowers in around it. And then I like to put a couple tall zinnias in the very back, um, just so when the bouquet is wrapped and you see it from the front, you see some tall flowers peeking out the back. So I'm going to use one of these darker ones and one of the lighter ones, because again, I'm going to have to save these for the other bouquet so they're the same. Then I'm gonna put my Celosi in. I'm gonna put that um, kind of off to the side because I want that textural spray off to the side. You know, my client, when she takes this home, she's gonna take it apart and put it in the vase however she wants it, but I do want it to somewhat have a design when it's in the paper. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. Then I'm gonna put my Snapdragon on the other side of the Celosia. And I should say I am by no means a floral designer. I've never taken a floral design class before. Um, this is just kind of what is pleasing to my eye. And as I go, I may switch things around. Like right now, these are too close in color to me. So I think I am gonna bump this over so it's more by the Celosia and the wine. And then I'm gonna set one of the sunflowers over here just because I want it to have all that contrast. Then I'll put a yellow zinnia on this side. My dahlia is gonna end up in front because that is um, one of the main focal flowers, but also the shortest one in the bunch. And I'll put the lime in the middle since that's the only one of that color. Let's see, I need to use one of these purples. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have All right, so seven zinnias. 
And see, this one's a little taller than the others and kind of smaller, so I'm going to stick that off to the side. And then we'll put this one in front. And I need to add one more sunflower. And then my crest that's a little shorter, I'll put that off to the side for detail. And then the dahlia, I'll just fit right in front. So that is how this client's bouquet will be this week. So to wrap it, the next thing I do is I cut the bottom and the shortest ones you can see are right here. So I'm gonna trim up to the shortest stem. If I can, I try to cut the stems at a 45 degree angle. They tend to soak up um, water better that way. And some of these leaves that are towards the bottom, I'm just gonna pull off. Then I'm gonna take my rubber band, wrap it around a few times. And then I'm gonna lay my flowers down into the bouquet and pull it around it. And I'll hold this up for you. So I have wrapped my bouquet just like this. The flowers are cradled in there. Um, the bottom of the paper is about where the rubber band is. And then I have a staple right here so that the paper is nice and tight around the bouquet. Then I like to fold a little tab over and then I'll fold the paper around it and I'm gonna staple it right up over here to hold it in place. And I can slide it up a bit. And then my sticker, which this is my last one, so I need to order some more today. These are two inch circle stickers. I just kind of put it up on the front on the side here. So that is the bouquet that she is going to pick up today. Isn't that pretty? I did purples and yellows with an accent of green. I like the texture, the celosia, um, the, you know, kind of, I call it sparkly texture of the bupleurum. The crest adds another little texture. I actually let my crest go a little further when it was growing out in my garden to where it started forming seed pods because I like um, the textural element of those. And then the dahlia in front. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna make the second one. And they don't have to be exactly the same, but this one should go faster because I kind of have my pattern figured out. So I did one of these in back. One of these over here. Celosia. And I had the Snapdragon over here. These sunflowers are just so fun. I have been starting to harvest a lot of sunflowers. And I grow all the pro-cut sunflowers because they're pollenless and they have really long base lives. All right, we'll put this yellow one in back. This blue pleurum is a little crazier than the other one, so I'm just kind of tucking it in between the flowers to hold it in place. Press kind of on the side and the back. And there's some flower in front. This sunflower is quite a bit bigger, so I'm going to put him on the side and put the dahlia in the center this time. Otherwise, I feel like it's going to get swallowed up. And then one more really tall sunflower, or sunflower, <laughs> zinnia, I'm going to put right in the back. All right, so there's that one. This, I think, needs to be pulled through a little bit. I'm just going to push him down and then the snapdragon I think I want to rise up that's a little more balanced and again they're going to unwrap this and put it however they want in their vase so cutting it I'm going to cut again at a 45 degree angle It's been really fun every Friday having this certain order pick up because every week I try to make their bouquets a little bit different. Uh, it's for um, it's for a local client who bought flowers for me last year, but she gets one bouquet for herself on a Friday and then one bouquet for one of her employees every Friday. 
It's just kind of an employee perk. I think that is a wonderful idea. And next spring, I really would like to try offering um, my first, whether I call it a CSA or a bouquet subscription, um, I have a lot more tulip bulbs coming this year than I did last year to plant. So I think maybe a tulip subscription, whether it be um, you know three to four weeks, I think that will be a great idea. And once I get it all planned out, I will make sure to do a specific video on that. But I'm kind of thinking, um, a spring bouquet subscription with a week of daffodils, another week of tulips, another week of tulips, and then maybe it goes into something with rhinoculus, depending on how everything times out. Um, but anyway, that will be a whole separate topic. So here is this bouquet. So again, she pays me $20. This is a little amped up. I give her a little bit extra, you know, maybe a couple extra zinnias because she is such a good client. Um, this would be just a little bit bigger than what uh, what I would normally do, but that is just beautiful. So here's the two of them together. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. It was a shorter one today, but I thought this would be a good one to film just because I was doing this project and um, maybe this would give you you know, some inspiration for how to make a market bouquet if you're kind of stuck in that midsummer rut. Um, hopefully you have a lot of sunflowers. Maybe this gave you a little inspiration on how to mix those in with a new color palette. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. So stay tuned for a lot more cut flower content all the way through fall. And then when winter comes, I'll be sharing all my ideas and planning for next season. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon.